Alright, welcome back everybody. This is Vince Hamby from U.S. Music Lessons and last week we were looking at the A minor blues scale and I'll just review that for you real quick. We're learning how to solo with that scale over a uh, typical 1-4-5 uh, A blues progression. So I'm just going to go over the scale again real quick from last week. you're going to get from that scale. Now what we want to do is take notes from that scale and start to create riffs. Uh, riffs are a guitar player's bag of tricks which allows them to uh, express freely and at will. You want to have a good library of riffs in your brain to whip out at any time um, when you're improvising. So here is uh, a typical type of riff you might use. Or you could do something like this. So it's just a matter of putting those notes together in interesting ways. So let's break down one of those riffs and uh, show you how to get started on your way to soloing. Alright, today I'm going to give you a few different riffs that you can do, and we're going to look at these close up. Once again, I'm right here in this box uh, from the 5th fret to the 8th fret on your guitar, and we'll just play around with a few uh, little choice phrases. The first one is going to be a classic Chuck Berry style riff, but I'm just going to add a variation in there. We're going to start on the 7th fret of the G string, and we're going to use one of the most time-honored traditions of blues, and that's bending the note. So we're going to take that note and we're going to bend it up a half a step. So that should give you this type of quality. So we're basically bending the seventh fret note up to this note right here. Practice on doing those bends to make sure that you're bending up just enough to hit the right note so you're not flat. So here is uh, the classic Chuck Berry riff. Or just simply this. So you can do variations on that same theme. So what I'm doing is bending up on the seventh fret, half a step, and then I'm taking the index finger and I am draping it over the 5th fret, bottom two strings, and I'm hitting it twice. Now that's usually the starting point for a lot of solos. Um, to make it a little bit interesting, you can add variations. a good jumping off point for blues soloing. The next one I'm going to teach you is a little bit reminiscent of Stevie Ray Vaughan and it has kind of a back and forth type of feel. So you're going to start here on the seventh fret of the D string and you're just going to use double stops again or double notes plucked at the same time. Start here So what I did there is 7th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret. So you notice how I can go into different parts of the scale and make it sound a little more interesting or resolve it. Um, another one that I like to do is starting on the 5th fret, 5, 6, 7, 5th fret, 5th string. This is uh, reminiscent of uh, Dickie Betts or uh, some Leonard Skinner type guitar playing from the Breeze. I actually stole this riff uh, originally. It's going to go like this. finger 
fingers, hammer-ons, pluck the string once, and then end on the fifth fret of the D string. So there's our three riffs. You can use these together. practice those riffs at your own speed at home and uh, come back next week and we're going to show you how to start to put all these things together.